Hello, my name's Toby Thorpe and I work in the City of London Corporation's Health and Safety Team where one of our jobs is to help keep people safe and that includes people working in or on the many tall buildings here in the global financial centre known as the Square Mile. This short video serves to underline the care that must be taken when working at height. One of the options you can use to mitigate the risk is the use of a fall arrest system. Remember that a fall arrest system will still allow a person to fall, just not so far or so fast. Preventing a fall at all needs to be the highest priority, so you may want to choose a system that works differently. Physical guarding such as rails or even a fall restraint system will generally be better and preferable. But back to the fall arrest system if you choose to use it. A key thing to bear in mind is how far a person is going to fall while wearing it. A typical system will only engage after it has become taut and so the length of the lanyard is the first consideration. You should also consider where a lanyard is anchored. If the anchor point is high up, then the lanyard will become taut very quickly and limit the distance fallen before the system engages. But if it is low, then there may be several extra meters to fall before the system gets a chance to work, or the rope may even get damaged or caught whilst falling. You must also remember a person's legs and head are longer than the lanyard, so fall beyond the lanyard's length. So already in the event of a fall, a person will drop several meters before their system deploys. Once it does deploy, most systems will generally slow descent by allowing the tearing of stitched webbing so that the lanyard is lengthened, and that may add up to an extra two meters. Given all these factors, a fall arrest system may not work properly unless used above a possible fall distance of six or even seven meters. It may be useless and unsafe as a control measure if used at a short distance. You also need to make sure that any anchor point is suitable and tested for its intended purpose of holding someone's weight during a fall. For example, work restraint latchway style systems are not necessarily going to take a person's weight in a fall because they have not usually been designed for that purpose. You shouldn't ever assume they are fall arrest systems. Always check first. So when considering worker height and the use of a fall arrest system by you or your contractors, make sure you've considered all of these factors and controlled them. And six or seven metres is a long way to fall. Someone may still get hurt. So don't forget that the best approach is still to stop someone falling in the first place.